Hello everyone, my name is TheZackAttack. Today I'm going to teach you how to install the Homebrew Channel onto your Nintendo Wii if you've not done that already. And we're going to do that via Letterbomb. Now, I've recently got a new Nintendo Wii. Not that the, my old one didn't work or quit working or something, it's just that I want to have two Wiis to maybe test the Wii Fire or something. So anyway, um, so anyway, this is what you're going to need in order for um, this to work. First, you're going to need a Nintendo Wii, of course. Let's see. And that Nintendo Wii needs to be version 4.3 in order for this to work. And I think it can work with any region just as long as it's version 4.3. Now, the second thing you're going to need is an SSD, an SSD card. Um, see, SD card right here. And of course, you're going to need a computer. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to get onto your, um, you're going to want to go on your Wii, um, go to Wii Options, go to Wii Settings, You go to where it says Internet. Then you go to Console Information. Then what you will see is your MAC address. Now, it's going to be that, well, you know, you'll see it says MAC address, and it'll have um, six sets of um, two characters. And... So you're going to want to write that down or something. Okay. Now, on your computer, you're going to want to go to, um, on, you're going to want to open up your browser, whatever that may be, and go to a site called please dot, uh, let's see, wait. Okay, you're going to want to go to please dot, hackme.com and then the letter bomb page will pop up and um, once you're on that site you're going to um, you're going to put um, uh, check off where your uh, system menu version is which you know it just you know whatever region your version is um, you know, because it's going to be version 4.3. So you have 4.3 U, 4.3 E, 4.3 J, and 4.3 K. Of course, I'm going to be using 4.3 U since I'm from the United States. So, um, you're going to enter your MAC address. And, um, depending on what you, um, have, I th there's a captcha thing, so you have to kind of do whatever it says. Okay. Okay, and then you're going to see, it's going to enable, cut the red wire, or cut the blue wire. does not matter which one you cut, because you're going to get the same result regardless. So I'm just going to cut the red wire. And what should happen now is it should, um, um, should, um, allow you to download, um, the files you need in order to get letter bomb, letter bomb working. So, now you have your SD card installed. Um, into your computer. I'm going to go ahead and um, download that to my computer. Uh, let's see. It should be downloading, but I'm not sure because I'm going to check. I'm having to use Internet Explorer right now because um, I couldn't get Firefox to work properly for some reason. Could just be my computer. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, okay. 
So anyway, so letter bomb is already there. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to extract all of those files. You're, you're going to want to have that all to the root of your SD card. You're going to want to uh, delete the letter bomb thing. Okay, so now you're going to take your SD card out. Now with your Wii Remote on, off, you're going to, I mean, sorry, not Wii Remote, Wii Console off. You're going to put your SD card into your Wii. And, you know, turn it on. Okay, so now with your Wii Remote on, not Wii Remote, Wii Console on, you're going to go to the message board. You go back. Okay, you're going to go back until you see this bomb. This letter with this bomb on it. You're going to click on that. And then, um, what you should be doing now is you should be getting the Homebrew channel ready. Okay. So, um, yeah, we're going to go... Should be able to go next or something with this. Any minute. Um, let's see. Not sure, I haven't... Oh, whoa, oh, okay. You press 1 to continue. Okay, um... So, um, you hit continue. Um, go to install the homebrew channel. Yes. Okay, continue. Now you have the homebrew channel installed. So woohoo! Should we go to? So now it should show the homebrew channel on your Wii. Yep, there it is. Okay, so um, now you want to turn off your Wii, and um. Take out your SD card and put it back into the computer. Okay, so now that you're back to your computer, you can go into your SD card and delete everything. And that is how you get the Homebrew channel onto your Nintendo Wii. So we'll just go to it. So now um, that you have the Homebrew channel installed on your Wii, you can also run programs like Revolution, um, even the uh, CTGP Revolution. You can also, um, of course, those are, you know, you can run um, other other apps, Homebrew apps created by people, you know, that weren't, you know, non lots of Nintendo games and stuff. Um, so yeah, um, so there you go, guys. Um, Please, uh, let me know how you thought of this video, or let me know if this tutorial was helpful um, through the comments. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. So, I'll see you guys later.